Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey. Welcome back. Y'all already know for what? A quick little video. So y'all, y'all. <laughs> y'all know a couple videos back, I had already told you within this actual December month, that one of the three mommies was going to come up with this whole pregnancy bullshit. So when I actually got the video, when it came across my phone, I said, I told y'all it was definitely getting ready to be some bullshit. And we already know, I said it, that it was either going to be Jasmine or it was going to be Olivia. But see, Jasmine, she ain't on point right now. She over there worrying about, you get what I'm saying, chiclets or whatever. And um, she ain't on point like she need to be. Okay. But Olivia, see, Olivia got it all, all planned out. Olivia said, guess what, bitches? I am on my way to 100K and you bitches out there are going to help me get to it. And Olivia, let me tell you, baby, <laughs> I am not even mad at you. Get your money, get your bag, and keep it moving. First, it started off, Olivia said that um, her door got kicked in. But then, you know what I'm saying, down the lines, it started to go ahead and unravel and make us look at Olivia like she was kind of unstable. Yes, it did, okay? But... Yeah, she kicked her own door in, they say. Do I believe it? Clearly believe it. Olivia is a fucking fool, all right? Now, she went from that to saying, well, uh, Olivia, uh, Brandon pulled out a gun on, uh, well, I'm sorry, oh, uh, what the fuck is his name? Uh, mm, the fuck is that man's name? Um... Um, this shit is ridiculous. I can't even think of his name because they be on some bullshit all the time. Come on, God, help me. Um, Gerard. Yeah, Gerard, Gerard, Gerard. Okay, I got it. All right. So Gerard had tried to pull out a gun on Brandon. Okay. So we went from that to now we here. And it probably was some young ass bullshit in between, but I forgot because I already know what type of bullshit that Olivia be on, right? So now, I had already told y'all it wasn't nothing that Olivia could come on this platform and give us. It was either going to be, I am pregnant, I had a miscarriage, I had an abortion, I just got finished signing divorce papers, I... It, it had CPS, which she says has been came to her house. She gave us a little teaser video. Yeah. Do your girl Reese know if it's true? No. Do your girl Reese care if it's true? No. I'm just reporting this bullshit to you guys. You get me? That's all it is. All right. Now, she came on here. Y'all already know how Olivia do. Okay. She came on here with the slow subtle, snatch back voice that she always does when she feels as though something is getting ready to go down and it's getting ready to make her views go up to the sky or make her subscribers shoot on up. Yeah, baby. Yeah. So, <laughs> y'all, I can't believe it. These People are so predictable. It's not even funny. If you a reactor, you can't help but make videos on them. You really can't. You can't. You know what I'm saying? It's a given. All right. And you already know, Liv, I don't bash nobody or whatever. What I do is I come on here and I tell the truth. So we got Olivia and you get what I'm saying? Her nice, calm, subtle voice sitting down on the couch, dressed in all black. Uh-huh. And um, she's sitting down, and we already know how it is getting ready to go down. Olivia goes, well, 
you know, I, I, I. And wait a minute, not to forget this. Olivia has already been giving us symptoms up until this video. She was tired. She was in her feelings. She was this. She was that. All right, so we had already knew, we already put our finger on it like a Lee Press on nail, goddammit, and said Olivia is getting ready to come on this goddamn channel with some damn bullshit. And that is exactly what Olivia Nicole Webb did. Because Olivia, you are still a web, my love. If you had something against Gerard where you say that he acts for prostitutes and, and that was good for your divorce, now Gerard is sitting on top of your goddamn butterfly eyelashes. Okay. Yeah. He's sitting on top of those butterfly eyelashes in Indian style. Mm-hmm. Now, if you are pregnant, when he goes for that divorce, baby, you pregnant. The only thing that you have is hearsay that Gerard actually tried to get a what escort prostitute a uh, woman of the dark lot lizard. That's all you got. But this bullshit right here, if you are pregnant, which I'm already going to tell y'all because y'all already going to come on here and ask me what I think. I don't think Olivia is pregnant worth nothing, okay? All of that stuff that she put out, she did that to lead up to this point because your girl is trying to reach 100K. And I already told y'all, I ain't mad at it. Do you live? Do you? But this shit right here, you are always on your bullshit. 100% bullshit, okay? So let's go ahead and get back to it. So she's sitting on the chair. All right, I want y'all to go ahead and picture this if you have not seen this. She got that young ass couch set, you get me? And she's sitting on there with her normal uniform on, which is that black shirt. And some black little short, you know, you know, doozies. That's what she's doing. We already know what is getting ready to come out this beautiful young lady's mouth is going to be. Well, I missed my period. I've been feeling some type of way. We were not trying to have a baby, but y'all out there, y'all out there, no, 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 what I mean, okay? So what I'm going to do in this actual video, I am going to take the pregnancy test with you guys. So I already knew when she had kicked that shit, she was getting ready to be on some bullshit like all the rest of them. She was going to go in there in that little bathroom. She was going to take that test. When it was time for the actual results to come up, she was going to click that bucket button to go ahead and slide off. So therefore, she feels like, you know, she's a celebrity. She feels like she's got us into some type of suspense. And all reality, we don't give a fuck because we already know before Friday, she's going to come on there and give us the actual results. Yes, she is. Okay. So she clicks the screen off. I look at the screen because I already knew what she was getting ready to do. And I said, Olivia, Olivia is always on this juvenile bullshit. She even goes to say, look, well, Brandon, he's in the room and he snores. I don't want him to hear me opening up the packet, bitch. He didn't hear you open up no goddamn package. He didn't even hear you coming into the room because he snores. All right. Now, like I said, I don't think that Olivia is pregnant. I could be wrong, but I did say it was going to be either her or Jazzy first. Okay. I feel like Olivia, if she is pregnant, the thing that she is doing right now, she is trying to make sure that she put all of this shit out to reach the top to 100K. But... In the meantime, she is still trying to get through 
to Gerard to say, Gerard, look, I'm over here and I'm getting pregnant by a whole nother guy. What do you get what I'm saying? A baseball cap that he wears in the house. Yeah, that's what she over here saying. She over there saying, Gerard, I am trying to get pregnant by someone that actually dresses better than me. That's what she was over here saying. Okay, now, like I said, I do not think that Olivia is pregnant. And when she does come on here and she says that she's not, I can tell y'all how it is going to break down. She is going to be like, oh, I wasn't pregnant. Oh, my God, I'm so happy because, oh, my God, it wasn't time for it. Oh, my God, I am trying to get my butterfly lashes sent out again. Oh, my God, it just wasn't the time for it, even though we were so, so, so in love. We were in love. We are still in love. I, people, have never, ever felt that I would feel this way after Gerard. But God has sent me this beautiful, beautiful man in a baseball cap. Nice brown complexion. Has a job that you say is caring for me and he loves my kids as well. God is so good. That is what Olivia is going to say. But in return, maybe later on down the line, if your girl gets pregnant after the divorce, I will be so, so elated. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Let me take elated back because Olivia don't know no fucking SAT words. I would be so, so Amazon education, people. I would be so, so excited or happy. Okay. Amazon education. I'm putting you bitches down. Okay. I would be so, so happy. And y'all, I apologize because I'm so over the top right now. I just realized, why the fuck am I so animated? But guess what? You bitches love it, okay? Yeah, so that's how Olivia, you get me, is going to come onto this actual platform. Mm -hmm. That's what she's going to do. All right. Now, Olivia, let me go ahead and let me talk about this to you real quick. So, I seen the little pictures that you decided to go ahead and post. And let me say, baby girl, my big, big baby girl, but beautiful. You give me any bitch that you know beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give you your credit. You know, that's how I do over here. But anyway, I seen the actual pictures of rights. And it was okay to do that, Olivia. But me, myself, I don't think that I would have posted them all around Instagram. See, Olivia, where you fuck up at, where God is actually going to hold you back at, is a lot of the shit that you do when it comes down to those kids is you try your hardest to make Gerard's family pissed off. And to make Gerard pissed off. That's exactly what you do. But wait a minute. Gerard, if you are not getting your kids the way that you should be and calling them, then Gerard, you are on some more fuck shit. Okay? You definitely are. And if the lady that is watching this is Gerard's girlfriend, you are on some fucked up bullshit as well. Because as that being your man that you think that you are actually going to be with, you should be all over his ass like white on rice to make sure that he is doing what he should be doing with his kids. Instead of being all up in your face on Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day with your family. That right there, I'm going to let you know because you don't know me. But I'm going to get to know, you, you're going to get to know me. That right there is some fucked up bitch shit.
shit. Okay. So, uh, girlfriend, you may want to go ahead and get that shit together. Gerard, you may want to go ahead and get that shit together. Because right now, Brandon is acting like he is in your position. And that is something as a father that you should not want. You should be getting your kids when you on a schedule. Now, as long as you get your kids and spend as much time as you can with them, but better yet, they have a guy that is living in the home with them, which is nurturing them, which is getting them you know what I mean? The type of nurture that they actually need to make them grow up in this society as a young woman and a young man and to know how to treat women and know how to treat men. Okay. So if you are not doing that, Gerard, Jerry, then you need to be and shame on you. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fall back off of here because what we get ready to do is wait patiently for Olivia to put this bullshit out that she is getting ready to put out. Like I told you, I don't think that Olivia is pregnant. My reasoning behind that is because she don't want to really let go of Gerard and you can tell it. I don't know why. Brandon can't tell it, but I can tell it. She really not ready to do that. And I feel like if that does happen and she is pregnant, Olivia is going to come on here and say, well, I got an abortion because it was at the wrong time. No, bitch, you got an abortion because it was not by Gerard. So y'all, I'm going to see y'all beautiful, beautiful people in the next video. Later.